everybody. Welcome to the Brain of Podcast. This is episode 13. I am sure of that. I am sure yes. it is episode 13. And it is December 12th. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was <laughs> a two-month-old fail. Dude, I did not mean to do that. Oh, I look. <laughs> Am I in the future? What happened? Oh, this is. Oh, people, I apologize. Sorry, person, I apologize. It is February twelfth. I, I, something happens every week. Frozen. I don't. I don't do this on purpose. So I look at the, the calendar icon, <laughs> and it says 12, but just December pops up in my head. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Oh, 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 it is February 12th. At least I got the episode number right. That's true. That's true. <sighs> Baby steps. Uh, I'm Jeppy Condyle. And I am Frozen GFX. And um, welcome. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad to be here. <laughs> Thank you for inviting me. Oh, man. How are you doing, man? How are you doing, man? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. (laughs) How can you possibly laugh and crack your voice at the same time? That's that's unique. Okay, full disclosure. We are not under the influence of anything. This is just how we are. Just so you guys know. (laughs) Oh, man. All right. Yeah, man. Yeah. (laughs) I was so ready to get it right. I was so ready. And you said it was such, such like, positive. It is December 13th. But the best part was was what I said right before. I'm like, I got it right. I got it right. Ronald, I got it this time. I got it. It is December 12th. Oh, man. Anyway, uh, what have you been playing, man? Um, well... Uh, let's see. What have I been playing? Uh, of course, Destiny. Destiny. The, uh, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. The Crimson. Um, Crimson Days it. with yes, Crimson, Crimson Doubles. Doubles. Double. Du- Doubles. Double. <laughs> um, yeah, so playing that. And today, I actually jumped into a game that's been out there for a long time, but. I had always been interested in playing it. Uh, CSGO, Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Oh, yeah? I've never played that. Uh, it's it's going to take some uh, getting used to because it, I, I'm not really one to play first-person shooters on the computer. Mm-hmm. And it's a very strange feeling to do that. Uh, you go with mouse and the, keyboard on that? Yeah, mouse and keyboard. Now, I could have the option of uh, connecting the controller like I have a 360 controller mm. and but the thing is that I'm going to have to map all the buttons and do everything custom with it because right out of the, the gate when you plug it in it does absolutely nothing so I um so yeah I'm, I'm more of a console first person shooter or but the 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 idea is I I know people swear and I you know I don't doubt them people swear by the mouse and keyboard controls for first person shooters um i would imagine i don't know i would imagine csgo is probably more developed more with the mouse and keyboard in mind right yeah i think so i really do but and you finally actually you mapped it you mapped it okay well or you're I'm, not yet. yeah I, I still have to I, I i'm gonna stick with the the mouse and the keyboard but i still need to map everything that's comfortable for me okay um, i see what you're saying yeah, so I gotta work on that. I gotta tweak a few things out with that. Um, you know, it's it's different in the way that you know. I guess first person shooter shooters are now. It kind mm-hmm. of reminds me of old uh, Modern Warfare One. You know, oh, um, just in like the simplistic <clears throat> type of um, maps. You know, I can't. I, you know what? I can't even jump to conclusions with that because I I didn't play all the maps. It was really just kind of putting my toes in the water with that. Mm. But it did feel to me like Modern Warfare, one of the early days of that uh, series. And it felt good. It's just I need to, number one, I need to practice with the mouse and the keyboard a lot more. And I need to customize my uh, my options 
to fit me as as a player. So gotcha. So more to come with that. And but I'm excited to get back into what what what. Uh, uh, I'm just curious what what spurred this. Uh, how'd you end up coming across a game playing? So because we've never conversed what, about that before. Yeah. Well, I think years ago I had asked if you ever wanted to try doing it, but I, I understand that you know you're not really fond of. With PC setup, gaming. Yeah. So, you know, I was looking, to be honest with you, I was looking at um, how to get Windows 10 for my computer for, you know, pretty cheap. And I was looking around online and, you know, they have, a, there's a couple of uh, uh, online services that provide um, what are called the OEM keys. Uh, original equipment manufacturer keys for like different software um, and it's very cheap I mean in some cases you can get uh, for example Windows 10 for like 20 bucks and it's a professional copy but it just so happens to be an OEM version which you know, I can get to that later on but in the sites that I took a look at they also are very heavy in games and and uh, you know providing severe, se deeply severe discounts on games using that same type of premise with the keys, you know, through Steam or through Origin or something like that. Mm -hmm. So I was taking a look. Now, they have some pretty good deals on a lot of new games. And I was taking a look at a package for kind of like a bundle for, um, it was like CS Complete. It had like all the different CS games like uh, Condition Zero and Source and things like that. And then I just moseyed on over to Steam just to compare the prices. Now, Steam had a uh, has a sale already, kind of like the Chinese New Year thing. Mm -hmm. um, so their deal was actually cheaper. It was like seven ninety nine. But that would not or, be typical. Like, it's supposed right. to Right. Yeah, exactly. So I got, I purchased the Counter-Strike bundle through Steam. Um, so, you know, I got original Counter-Strike, like I said, kind of Condition Zero, Global Offensive, Source, so yeah, I'm just giving it a shot to see, you know, if I can get my hands dirty with it. That's cool. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. And then um, I'm pretty. I was pretty surprised to see the amount of games that are listed for um, you to purchase keys off of. You know, uh, using those sites that I was talking about. Mm. Um, I mean, in some case, like for example. They already have a pre-order for uh, Street Fighter Five, and it was like thirty bucks, which was like, wow, oh, that's yeah, amazing. That's awesome. You know, um, you know, it was, it was pretty interesting, and I'm <coughs> going to take a look further into um, other things, other services they provide. Maybe I'll talk about it in a later podcast or something. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, but it, it definitely opens up a lot more possibility for me to start playing newer games instead of older games. Mm -hmm. Um, just because of you know the limited uh, budget that I have to, yeah. to invest in that, but uh, I hear you. But I'm, I'm liking what I see so far. Cool, cool. Um, and what about you, man? What you been playing? Well, you know I've been playing Firewatch. Hold on. <coughs> um. Yeah, man that that game, I I, I completely yeah. went in blind. I have, I've heard about that game since last E3. Um every once in a while and um i've seen like very brief few second clips of it but the idea that it just it just seemed to have this feel you know this feel to it where like, i feel like it'd be a game i would like um but i really had no idea what the premise was and uh i just you know, took a chance and so far i'm digging the crap out of it it's very unique uh, of, a, of a premise and a story and um I don't want to. I'm not going to get into the this the details of the story because I don't want to spoil anything. I'm not beating it yet, but I really do enjoy it. The writing is fantastic. Uh, the visual style is very. It's Pixar-ish at points, but I feel like I am Wreck It Ralph, like that character. I have those hands and everything, <laughs> so I picture him, and um, and uh, Delilah. Like the the person you speak with, and I'm, I'm noticing with all these games that I'm playing, I'm talking to a woman over an intercom constantly, and um, so I think that's funny. But 
so far, man, I really, I really dig it. And it, I read this one article. I just read the headline, to be honest, of uh, I think it was Polygon that stated that you should, if you want to play it, try play, playing it, you know, with minimizing how often you look at the map at the compass. And for part one, I used a compass, and then I read that. And then part two on, I've decided to try and minimize that. And it's actually been really cool. I feel like I have a better lay of the land. And um, so I've been playing that. Yeah, I, I just have to say, I mean, we have the first three parts of your gameplay up on YouTube. Yeah. Um, you know, for those of you that uh, listen to us through Shout Engine or something, please take a look at what we got over on YouTube on Brainal. Um, but man, the episodes or the parts that I've seen, man, they've been, it's absolutely beautiful. And the writing is so well done. The writing is cool, man. Like, I, I, I'm starting the more game. this is going to sound obvious and stupid, but the more games that I play that have great writing make me recognize bad writing and not just games, but also TV shows and movies. And I, I, if, if something has bad writing and I really notice it, it's kind of an instant deal breaker which is i don't think i'm gonna enjoy the game you know um but yeah i'm, I'm glad you're you're enjoying it yeah it looks really good man i was really thinking about picking that up um before i saw that you started the gameplay oh and oh i didn't know that no 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 no, okay. no no it's it's perfect i'm still gonna play regardless cool but um yeah it's, it looks amazing man i can't wait to see what you know what's going to unfold yeah but i mean if you're going to play it then you know i wouldn't want it to be spoiled for you yeah i have a different outlook on it though i i'm i'm totally fine with it i'm really enjoying it so either way i am going to play it but i, I do want to watch your gameplay cool well, i appreciate that um yeah. what else we play? i've been playing danganronpa 2 on my vita and oh i remember you talking about yeah that i'm like sucked back into that game hard oh big news because I think this happened okay. last week. I forgot now. So I finally beat Oracle of Ages. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I was not. I know. It's <laughs> fuck. And I am so glad I am done with those Oracle games. If you, if you personally have worked on those games, no offense. But I hated those games. I really did. In, I didn't hate them. No, that's a strong offense. word. I really in did not enjoy offense. it. I thoroughly did not enjoy it. I enjoyed it. I'll put it that way. To the point... Every aspect of offense is what you mean. Say it again. Okay. And every aspect and definition of the word offense, is that's exactly what you mean. <laughs> the, uh, I did enjoy, though, how the two games came together. Um, for the most part, you know, you get to fight Ganon, uh... But it did still feel a little gimmicky and the logic was still not there, but I'm just glad I'm done. But the cool thing that I really didn't expect, but it was the whole reason why I'm doing this, trying to play in chronological order, was the next game that I'm playing now is Link's Awakening for the Game Boy. And um, when that first came out, it was just a random, you know, you're Link, you're in a ship, you don't even know why you're in ARSC, and the ship... You know, you go to storm, you shipwreck, you end up on this island, Coheland Island. But when I play it now in the order of things, now keep in mind, Oracle of Seasons and Ages came out a while after um, Link's Awakening. The way those games end, and this was before the official timeline was released by Nintendo, the way those games end is you actually say goodbye to everybody in um, the places you were in in the Oracle games, and you, you leave on a ship. And then when I immediately played, I started playing Link's Awakening after that, and it made so much sense. The continuity was there. It, it was actually really cool. It, that alone was worth playing both Oracle games. Just to realize that's the same Link. Um, so that I thoroughly enjoyed. But immediately upon playing uh, Link's Awakening, it was just like, well, I, was, I was shocked. I had to go through both Oracle games in a row, and then going back to this, which is an older game, but it's a straight up Nintendo game, I was I was shocked at how much more enjoyable it was. Uh, the uh, Link's Awakening. Um, so been playing that. Oh, I know there was something else. Oh man, I 
played Smash Brothers with uh, we're going to have a, a new member Brainel coming on in, in the upcoming weeks and I play Smash Brothers with him a lot and we tried we got to try Bayonetta and Corrin from Fire Emblems the, the 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 new Smash characters they're amazing I was actually shocked how great they were I like them more than Cloud I like Cloud a lot um yeah. And, and and they did Bayonetta so well that it made me want to play Bayonetta again. And I started playing Bayonetta again, and I freaking forgot how great that both of those games are. <laughs> <sighs> There's something with Destiny. We've been having a lot of fun with Crimson Doubles. Yeah, definitely, man. I I'm glad I have found my partner, <laughs> <laughs> Shax. <laughs> Dude. Yo. She... <laughs> Dude. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I was about to just go off on Shaq's. Go ahead. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, I don't want to beep all that out. The, um, last night when we were playing and when we signed off, I don't know what happened, but I think, did you get an Eververse package? Did you check? Hello? Hello? Hey. Hello? Hey, you there? Yeah, my computer just spazzed out. Um, an Eververse package? Yeah. I don't believe I did. Well, I don't know what happened. I've, I know I turned in something. Oh, wait. Hold on. Wait. Have you turned any any uh, of the, the Crimson Doubles bounties yet? Yeah, I have. I could have sworn I turned in, but it may not. I don't know. Just check next time we play. Um, I had an Ever Eververse package, and it, it's one of those things where I think it gives you a random emote. And I had no idea that you could earn emotes in the game. I thought it was just strictly you paid money. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's... I didn't know that you could do that either. Neither did I. I didn't, I didn't uh, open it yet because that was like right before I signed off. I was like, holy crap. So I thought that was cool. Um, but meanwhile, I mean, while we're at it, might as well talk about Destiny 2. Yes. <clears throat> Go for it. All right. I only know two things, Okay. I know that Destiny 2 is slated to come out 2017. I expected it to come out this fall. But I didn't know that, and they, they did say that they are going to release another expansion. Now, I didn't read the article to know if the expansion was going to be paid or not. That's the thing. Um, <clears throat> but did, correct me if I'm wrong, didn't they go on record saying that from now till Destiny 2, they were not going to charge anything yeah. after Taken King? Or is it just for year that. two? Uh, I don't think it was specific to year two. I think it was, yeah, that they weren't going to be charging for any new content. Yeah, true. Um, yeah, I do remember that. So I'm curious to see what they're going to do. I didn't read again. Um, but I don't know if they went back on their word or maybe I'm remembering it wrong. Or maybe they're... Because I expected a twenty. For some reason, I thought it would be it would come out every two years. So maybe they would. Maybe maybe it's a olive branch. Like, hey, it's we're gonna have to delay Destiny Two, but here's a free expansion. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. Hmm, maybe either way. But what uh, what are your thoughts on that? Well, I would love for it to be a free expansion before Destiny Two. Um, I have. Personally, I have a lot of expectations, and I know that's that's r the wrong thing to do with a game, but I do have a certain expectations for Destiny 2, at least Me too. in the story part of it, um, because I want to know a hell of a lot more that was just lacking in the first. It would be cool if the expansion was, um, was a nice bridge between Destiny 1 and Destiny 2. But yeah, yeah, me, yeah the cool. narrative. I would love a stronger narrative. I I didn't I didn't mind what they did with Taken King. If they could just keep going in that di that direction with improvement, that'd be cool. I, I would appreciate that. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, but that's all I read. I didn't read anything else on it. But we have something very important to talk about next week. Oh. Street Fighter Five. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, was it Tuesday? Tuesday, I just I just, I just want you to know, Frozen, it's been real. No, yeah, it definitely has been real. It's uh, everyone. This might uh, be the last, <laughs> last, last brain old podcast. Yeah, you know what? You know what? That's gonna that that very well may be true mm -hmm. because 
17 years is one hell of a long ride, man. Yeah. And uh, all good things must come to an end. It's very true, and it just it's sad that it's gonna have to be through this this platform. Yeah. Uh, but it's it's gonna be something. I'm I'm mentally preparing myself. There will for, be blood. There's going to be physical damage, yeah. even though we're you know hundreds of miles away from each other. Do you know the characters that are in Street Fighter Five? No, doesn't matter though. No, uh, can I tell you something um, though? Okay. So I I uh, on on the PlayStation Store I saw the um, the an expansion pack. Now you can pay thirty dollars. To speed up, and it just unlocks a whole bunch of, you know, stuff. But remember, you can unlock, from what I understand, everything in the game on your own without having to pay right. a single penny. Um, you just right. have to play the game, which is cool. But I did see the characters that were in that that expansion pack. Um, would you like me to get into that, or would you rather not know? Yeah, go for it, man. The, the, well, the one person that I, I wanted to let you know is Jury is in this, which is cool. Mm, nice. Because uh, I, I haven't heard anything about her being in Street Fighter V until I read that. Um, so me personally, I don't use Jury uh, for everyone who's listening, but I, I, but I know you like Jury a lot. I'm letting you know, okay? I'm just letting you know right now. And actually, I, don't, I think I might have told you this. Uh, did I tell you that the other guy... Uh, that's going to be... Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, he likes jury too. So, I'm going to have to fight for ownership. Yep. And then fight to destroy a friendship. Yeah. Now, when, when me and him smash, <laughs> it, it, we've gotten to the point where we just enjoy improving and we play each other. Um, I have no idea how... I have no idea how the two of you are going to be <laughs> Street Fighter. I, I'm a very competitive person when it comes to fighting games. I think that's really my only competitive... Well, I wouldn't say my only, but it's it's a very strong uh, sense of competition when I, when I play a fighting game versus, some, or versus another person. No, that's true. Um, considering that this guy, I what, only met him once... Um, <laughs> It's it's going to be real. I'm just going to put okay. it that way. Either way, uh, so I'm very excited about that. Uh... Me too, man. I, I'm really excited about it. Now, I have not purchased the adapter for my uh, joystick. So I think I'm going to just be playing... On the pad uh, for now on the pad which is fine it's absolutely fine yeah i'm um, i'm thinking let... i might invest in a new stick but not one i'm gonna make i think i'm just gonna buy one because okay one one thing i'm personally worried about with an adapter is possible input lag and um true true yeah so but we'll see i'm gonna do more research and figure it out i have a a pad uh that's designed for fighting you might want to look into it it's a uh, it's called Rocket Pad? No. I think it's called the PDP Fight Pad or something like that. Uh, it's set up, but PDP? it has a D-pad, so there's not a joystick, but it has this six face buttons, uh, very much just like a, uh, a fight stick. Uh, but it's weird. Like, on the bottom, the two, I guess, horns or whatever you call them, uh, they don't equally come out. The bottom right horn of the whole controller is a little bit shorter, so you can rest it on your leg and tap it like you would a, a joystick. It's actually it's really cool. I like it, and it's customizable as far as you can even tilt the the D pad a certain angle if you want it. Um, you can map things a certain way. It's cool. Uh, so okay, you said it was a P like Peter David Peter. I, th- I could have sworn it was. I might be wrong, or it, may, it might be Hori. Okay, so it. I'm sorry, I was looking at uh, looking it up when you were talking about it. Does it look like a Sega Genesis com- uh, controller? A little bit, yeah. Not as curved. 
Gotcha. Yeah, I I, I had like when, when I'm assuming we're gonna play gonna hop online a little bit later. Yeah, 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 I'll look at it and I'll let you know what it is. Man, I might, I might be completely wrong what what, the, what it's called, but um, yeah, it's it's All cool, right. um, and it's wired too, so it's not wireless, which is great. Uh, but yeah, oh uh, yeah, I do see a hoary one. Okay, then so cool. Yeah, well, hey man, it's cool. So let's see what else. Man, have we played? Here, I got a, I got a weird one for you. I don't know if you heard about this. Go for it. Um, so, uh, apparently Kanye West has a game. Oh, I heard about that, yeah. coming out. I just read the head- headline. Yeah, um, so, I'm not gonna pretend that I know anything about Kanye West's fashion line or his show that apparently is on its third season of something. Oh, I didn't know he had a show. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> Uh, but there was some kind of live stream yesterday where he was unveiling some new uh, shoes, some new fashion uh, clothing for his fashion line. And then, like, towards the end, I guess, he just, like, decided to show a trailer of his game called Only One. And it's based, the, the I think the premise of the game, as I read it, is about his mother traveling through the gates of heaven. So that's pretty much all it's about. <laughs> and the trailer just shows a character up in the uh, in the clouds, um, getting wings and then flying up towards the sun. So I I don't know anything more about it, but how, what do you feel about Kanye West having his own game? Well. I'll put it this way. Given that subject matter, from what I understand, that's, and I think it would be for anybody, that it's very personal to him as far as what happened to his mom. I know, I do remember hearing or reading that his mom was a huge influence on him when he grew up. So, that being said, consider the games that I play. Now, what I'm trying to imagine is if this game, if there was no mention of Kanye West, nor that was his mother, you know, uh, or do you know what, what platform it's coming out on? No. No, I don't know. So, it's I'm going to be straight up honest with you. I feel like if his name wasn't attached, nor his mother's name, and it was an awesome game, then that's cool. But I, I personally, I, I hate to... Now, granted, I haven't played it, obviously. But um, I feel like just knowing that he wanted to do this obviously he's not developing it i would love to know who the developers are um if it's a console game you know i i know there's a is a kim kardashian mobile game and she's making a lot of money from that um oh, what would really piss me off personally is if this means so much to him if he charges for this and he's making money off his mother pretty much and that's messed up i do not agree with that um yeah that right there is something that i was really thinking about yeah i think that's that's definitely sending the wrong message even if his heart was in the right place you know he has so much money if anything he i don't know how his mom died either so i can't say anything to that but i mean i don't know i think it's very audacious of him to make a game about his mother going to heaven. Again, there might be something I'm missing, but at the same time, he's making a lot of presumptions that I... I again, I don't know how it's going to play out. I don't know, but... How can I say this very concisely? Um, if he's making money off his mom's death, that's messed up. That's enough for me to not play that, or nor, nor even, even bother even thinking about it. Um... Or possibly to even actively dislike that. Uh, two, I don't know. Like, who knows if it's a, there might be some other weird marketing. Maybe his music's in there for his new album or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what I was thinking as well. Like, he does have a new album coming out, and he's talking about his new game. Um, I, I don't know. I just feel like there's that 
corniness, that um, sleazy aspect of it. But again, you know, I, we don't know. We, we don't really know exactly. I will say this, though. I really don't care. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I may, yeah, I may check it out just to see what the hell it's about. Uh, considering, you know, from now until whenever release, you know, they're not saying much, but mm-hmm. I would imagine they're going to leak a lot of sh- uh, stuff for that. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, I was quicker than that. You, you, know what I, you know, I'm kind of curious about is how come Wu-Tang never made a game? They never, they never made a game, right? In the 30, Enter the 36 Chambers, that CD was an enhanced CD. It did have a game in there. But you know what I mean. So I'm like, well, I'm I'm just, you know, there, there technically there was a game, but um, wait a minute, no, 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 no. There was a game, I think. What was a game. I gotta look it up. Okay. Because I I, I think there was. I I don't know. I don't know. I thought. I... Yes, and I had this stupid game. Oh Lord. Wu Tang Shaolin style. It was on the PlayStation. Was it a fighting game? Yes. Well, of course. I mean, trying to fight to follow Shaq. It's like a puzzle game. It's like Tetris. <laughs> be funny. It's like a bust a move. <laughs> How uh, was that yeah, game? Yeah, they did have that. Oh, it sucked. <laughs> Big time. Um, <laughs> but I do rem- I I remember buying that game and buying Resident Evil 1. Um with that and obviously the better of the two yeah Wu-Tang all the way (laughs) yeah Uh, what's what's crazy is it's very highly rated in um, IGN 8 out of 10 (laughs) jeez that's crazy Uh, so this past week something in the video game community really sad happened and that's game trailers closed Oh. Yeah, and and it came out of the blue, man. I was just that's rough. Uh, so I, I I was a big fan, and um, of a lot of what they did, they they did things that I didn't agree with, though. But definitely doesn't warrant them closing. But they were not independent; they were owned by Defy Media, and it's just it is what it is. I really do hope that they start a new. The the certain group of people there that I I'm aware of, I hope they start a new website because I I would be done to that or or start a new YouTube channel and make keep making videos. Um. Yeah, so that happened. I can't think of anything else, man. Oh yeah, this. Oh my God, this actually kind of pissed me off. Sega, I I. Sega. I don't know what to think of Sega anymore. So, Sonic the Hedgehog, there's a movie coming out. Are you hear about this? No. In 2017, they're going to have a hybrid, you know, live action and CG animated movie of Sonic the Hedgehog. And I... Whoever... Whoever is in charge at Sega, I feel like they're there's I don't think they're on the Konami level, but I think they are I okay, I'll put it this way. I think the people at the top of uh Konami I feel like they were a holes, right? And they were they were so full of themselves that they could do whatever they want that that's and that's what they are. Um, Sega, I don't, I don't think they're a-holes. I just think they're idiots. I think they're just dumb A's, if you know what I mean. As far as, <laughs> because their, their most iconic character, Sonic, they have screwed him over, over and over again. And then, and I'm not even a Sonic fan. And this is how much I care about this subject, that, um, the latest game to come out was Sonic Boom, and they're like, "Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have a, I think it was a, a TV show, and we're gonna reinvent Sonic, and then we're gonna come out with Sonic Boom, and it was so bad. The game was just so bad that they put all this money into like other stuff and not even make a good game to begin with. Now, granted, I don't know what it's like to run a big company like that, but I know that's not it. 
And then all of a sudden they're saying they're going to do a movie. I feel like they saw Ratchet and Clank. They're coming out of the movie. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah. We'll get. They, they sound just like this. By the way. Oh, wait, we're, signed, we're Sega. And then we're going to get people, we're going to get kids to, to like us and, <laughs> and then do that. And then. I, Gotta go fast. Yeah. Oh, my God. Never say that to me. <laughs> the, uh, for the record, the, the other guy that's going to come on, when he says that to me, I want to slap him. Okay. And he, he knows I hate it. He knows I hate it. And he says it. I've slapped him before, too. He was talking about Wario. Either way, the idea is is that I... I it just shows they're making the worst decisions. And I think, you know, I thought like, oh, a year off from Sonic, you know, they're going to put some thought and time into the next Sonic game. And they, they might, but if they're... If, they're dividing up their resources like that. I know they're not making the actual movie, but um, you know the next Sonic game is going to be tied into the movie. You know? Yeah, very much Yeah, so. and I think it's just, they're just setting themselves up to just waste even more money. The best things to come out of Sega were Bayonetta, which is done by Platinum Games, and Sega didn't have enough money because of their stupid decisions to make Bayonetta 2. Nintendo had to do that. And then 2 is Shenmue. Oh, but guess what? Guess what? It's going to be Sony to take care of that. And it's a Kickstarter campaign that did really well. Sega can't do crap on their own. I can't think of the last thing they did other than those two things. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. From what I do understand, the, the Yakuza games are really good. I've never played them. Okay. Everyone that I've known or have heard ever talk about the Yakuza games are like, they're raving about it and i do believe that is sega um and they finally made a decision to to really bring him to the states i guess but so that's cool but outside of that i can't think of anything else um yeah but that just when i read that i'm like oh my god that that it really makes me mad unless it's a chubby sonic if it's a chubby sonic i will <laughs> see that imax 3d <laughs> i will eat chili dogs i will Wow. I'll pre-order the game. Oh, that reminds me. But uh, was there anything I wanted to say before I say it next? Time? No, no. Keep going. One thing that I did not expect at all to even interest me until for some reason I saw something. I forgot where it was this past week is Doom. I have never been a Doom fan in my life. Oh, yeah. I'm still not a Doom fan for the record. The Doom games, when I was little, it was the 90s, actually scared me and I thought in my mind I guess because I was so young you know I thought like all oh, these monsters are coming after you so scary so scary so scary but then and I think when Doom 3 do you remember Doom 3 when that came out I think it was for like the original mm -hmm. Xbox yeah. yeah I think they really had a, a horror spin on that one or horror feel to it um but for some reason, I was watching a video. I think it was an IGN video. I think they were talking about it or whatever. But the way they were talking about it, and then I watched it, it finally clicked to me that, you know, these these monsters, from what I understand, are from hell. And you just tear the crap out of them. And it's like you are almost like Ash from Evil Dead. Like, you are hunting them for sport. And then... That was really shown to me in that latest trailer, uh, and I was like, "Oh man, that's actually pretty cool," and it was it was really beautiful from what I saw. So I'm gonna look more into it, but I feel like I feel like I'm gonna give Doom an honest shot. Um, I'll probably rent it, but uh, but I I could see it really impressing me. It, it might be something that I never. I th I thought it took itself too seriously, uh, but from what I understand, it doesn't. So, I don't know. I'm very excited about it. I think May? I think it's coming out. Cool. That's dope, man. Yeah. But, other than that, that's pretty much it. Did you get my uh, text earlier today about the cruise? Yeah. I thought that was funny. You know, I know it's not true. Well, I happen to feel that it's 100% true. And I'm so excited to go back in to put on a good show. <laughs> so You could tell people. So, yeah, so. <laughs> or could just keep it cryptic but, and just have this conversation yeah, while it's just, being recorded. Just, exactly. So I sent a uh, text to Jeppy today, 
and um, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I, every now and then, I get in like this honor guardian mode uh, with Destiny and feeling like I should bring honor back into <laughs> the world through Destiny. I, I don't know. It's a very strange uh, mood that I get into sometimes, but. Um, so I send you a text, and I'll just read it for for everyone out there. Oh, for uh, the record, I was busy as crap. Okay. Yeah. No, no, I I like to think that your mind was blown, <laughs> and you were just sure. sitting. Yeah, sure. Mind was blown. The, busy as crap. Yeah. Yeah. And your Same room thing. just like wow. <laughs> <laughs> so like I don't know about you, but I just came to the realization that the Crucible is a spectator sport for the survivors within the last city. Shax seems to be the host, and we are the players. It makes me want to try. <laughs> makes me want to try harder to put on a good show. <laughs> Do you think we have fans? <laughs> Do you like? And it, it was hilarious to me thinking that people have like T-shirts of Jeppy Conda or Frozen <laughs> GFX. <laughs> and, and you know what my my uh, what my catchphrase would be uh. on the back of that T-shirt. You know it's gonna be. I'm not gonna say it. No, I don't. You're gonna beep it out. Wait, hold on. No, no, no. Don't say it. I don't wanna beep things out. I don't wanna beep things out. I already did it. I didn't hear it. I well, it came across. So, what minute marker is this? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is this uh... a. <laughs> yes. <laughs> is this a thing you yelled at your own apartment one time? Yes. Oh, you, you, might, you might wanna review. 41 minutes. Oh, uh, uh, okay. <laughs> because I said it while you were speaking, so. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. It just <laughs> it made me feel awesome that we are in there and it's like, you know. I like. I, tonight on. <laughs> I, I like how you word it as you had the realization as if it were fact. Yeah, it is. <sighs> this is a problem that we have. <laughs> All right, you want a question of the week? Please do. It's going to be pretty simple. I don't think I've talked about it before. Uh, what is your favorite gaming controller that you have used in your gaming career? This might be the most loaded question you ever asked me in my life. <laughs> oh, favorite, favorite. And, it, you know, it doesn't have to be just feel. It, it, it could be a, a very, you know, different amount of variables that just come to a conclusion and say, this is your, that's your favorite controller. Oh, man, this is a messed up question. So let's, uh, let's talk about, so Atari, you ever played Atari? Yeah. So that controller... Mm. Yes, no, no, maybe so. God, no. <laughs> Moving on. No, I'm trying to, I'm trying to separate nostalgia from like functionality. Oh, that's the thing. Yeah, I can understand. Um, dang. Ah, uh, honestly, right now, dang. If I were to, if I were to get into it, uh, to be honest with you, as of now. I would have said the 360 controller, but the Xbox One controller is naturally just slightly better. So I would say, no, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like my favorite one was always a 360 controller, personally. Oh, really? Yeah. Is there any particular reason, just the way it feels? The, the, the placement of the, 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 the thumbsticks I really like, and... The Xbox One controller is cool, uh, but it's a little bit smaller and doesn't fit just as nicely in the hands. Um, I love the PS4 controller, but I, I prefer the the asymmetric thumbstick layout, personally. Um, yeah. Nice. What about you? Uh, for me, it's the Super Nintendo controller. Mm. Um, I like it because... Of a few things. Number one, I think that that was the first time I experienced the bumpers, on uh, the shoulder mm -hmm. buttons. Um, 
and I was playing Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter religiously back then. So to incorporate those buttons with the strong punches and kicks was great. Um, and also the uh, the X Y how they some the I think the top ones were uh, concave and the other ones were convex or, or whichever. Yeah, um, I think so. That. The feel for that was great. Like I, I knew exactly where I was. I my my thumbs didn't drift off into different buttons. Um, you know, I don't know. It it was light enough so that I can feel like I was <laughs> free to play. You know, and, and move around with it, mm-hmm. but also durable enough so that you know I can actually <laughs> abuse it in some aspects. So, uh, but no, that that's. By far my favorite, favorite video game controller. Gotcha. This when was the last time you held one though? I'm just curious. Uh, actually, last week. Um, it's, it still felt right. So, how much of that is nostalgia? I'm just curious. Um, it's not uh, that nostalgia feeling is not something that I feel with that controller on the controller itself. It was, um, you know, I played uh, Donkey Kong Country with my father last week Mm -hmm. and as soon as I picked it up like it was a natural feel for me and it just felt good and it wasn't it's not about the nostalgia for me in that aspect it's just just, for my hands it just felt good that's interesting for for me it's I mean I I definitely see the comfort in it but um, compared to today's standards it it won't do it um Nostalgia for me would have to go with N sixty four. Uh no, I remember. Oh, hold on, because just the novelty of it was just crazy. But actually, you think nostalgia would be more the GameCube controller? Because I distinctly remember playing Metroid Prime with that controller, and it felt really good. But also Smash Melee. And I still that hey, that's that's my preferred controller I use for Smash today. So yeah, the N sixty four controller is my least favorite. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think it's more yeah. novelty, and uh, and I hated how the 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 joysticks would, you know, they get uh, they they like wear down. You know, you get that little joystick dust. Yeah, yeah. And then it was just oh, it's a pain in the butt. Yeah. But either way, either way. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go with uh, definitely going with the uh, 360 controller. But I love the PS4 controller. I really do. You know, I, I, I mean, I like 360, the 360 controller, and, of course, the PS controller. But for some reason, and just for me, my ring fingers and my pinky fingers, when I'm, when I'm wrapped around the controller, and it's, like, just touching that, I don't know, that round portion in the bottom that jets out. Mm-hmm. The it's kind of uncomfortable for me, and there are some times where I feel like those fingers go to sleep. Sometimes could just be the way that I'm. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, oh great. <laughs> Forty-nine I'm so, minutes. Forty-nine I'm minutes. So sorry. Oh, man, <laughs> I almost dropped something important. So. Um, was it a Super Nintendo controller? It was a 360 controller. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it, it, my fingers go to sleep sometimes. So. She's not always that comfortable for me. Mm. Um, yeah, one controller. I'll tell you my least favorite controller. Okay. PS3. I hated that mm. controller. Oh, my God. I hate that controller so much. <laughs> Seriously. Did it you, is the uh, sonic music of controller. Did you ever um, wrap your hands around the first... Xbox controller, the big one. I, yeah, I did. I did before. Um, I just felt like I was hugging a bowling ball. Yeah, it was. <laughs> that was very uncomfortable to hold for me. Yeah, but I heard the 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 second re- iteration was a lot better. It's cool. Yeah, I winded up before that came out. I winded up just getting like a Mad Cats controller. Was using that. That was small. Mad Cats. Mad Cats. <laughs> Well, that's cool, man. All right, I feel pretty good. How do you feel? I feel good, man. 
All right. Uh, everyone, thank you for joining. This is February 12th. I'm gonna get okay. I promise, pros. Next week, I'm gonna get it perfectly. Okay, I'm man. Get it perfectly. Okay, not like. <laughs> welcome to this is episode fourteen, uh, February nineteenth, eighteen twenty one. Let's crap like that. Oh, so, so why anyway. don't you say the date and the episode number again? Say it again. Why don't you tell us today's date and. The episode number of this podcast. Because I already messed up, Frozen. I don't want to relive it. This is your chance to redeem yourself. No. Because we already have it recorded. <laughs> I, mean, you I just got to look at myself and, and mean, get ready for next week. All right. I feel like no matter how much I, I even prepare for next week, it's still good. <laughs> you know what's going to happen? This is what's going to happen. <laughs> You're going to get it right on the money. But then you're going to say... That you are frozen GFX. <laughs> <laughs> Either that or I'll say my real name. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh, man, that's crazy. Uh, all right, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us. Frozen, thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. Thank you for the invite. No problem. <laughs> and, uh, and we will see you next week for episode 14. Good job. 14 next week. Okay. 14. Oh, uh, any. Uh, well, maybe because Street Fighter. I'm just saying. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> uh, while we're at it, do you have any Beetlejuice references you like to get off your chest? Any Onimusha references? I Rugger, anything like that? Are you trying to, like, channel. I'm trying to the, keep the, the consistency the up. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to do. No. Don't. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Just no. <laughs> all right, everyone. <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> I was about to say, Pay! like to you. <laughs> like, all right, bro. <laughs> and then this guy, this guy. I like what we're, what we're really doing, which is recording.